Hey guys, today I want to show you some of the windowing functions inside of SQL Server. Um, we're going to try to do a five day rolling average or a rolling sum. We'll see how this goes. Um, so the first thing I need to do is set this up so that we can actually um, have a good data set to use. So I'm actually going to work inside the wide world importers. I'm going to look at the data warehouse one. And inside those tables, I want to look at the uh, the cells table. So grab a new query here, um, and let's just see what's in there. So inside the cells table, we've got some stuff, but there's only a couple columns I want. So I want to look at the invoice date. And I want to look at the, uh, there's a profit column. Okay, so there's our data set. Um, one more thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and group and just get one record per day. So I'm just going to sum the profits up. And again, we're just setting this up um, so that we can have a good data set to use for our windowing functions. So let's group by the invoice date key. Okay, so now we've got a, a decent data set. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to drop it into a table so that we have something simple to start with. So I'm just going to say into um, dbo dot, uh, profit by day. Okay, so we have uh, 1,069 rows in there. So let's take a look at their new table. Okay, so now we have a simple table. I'm going to get rid of this script here. I'm going to save it out here because I'm going to put a link to it on the blog. So anyways, um, so now we're going to work with just this table and we're going to start getting into that windowing function. So what I want to do is kind of show you what we're, what we're going to accomplish in Excel and then we'll write it here in SQL. So let me order this. Um, I'll just use the first column reference. And so now we have day by day the profit that was made. So I'll copy this with the headers. And I'm going to go to Excel and drop it in there. And let's, let's increase this so you can see it better. OK, so with our five day rolling, so if we look at the first five days here, um, if we want to do a rolling average, it'd basically be average, and we would just grab this right here, five days. And then as I come down here, I could just drag this down, and each one of these cells is going to give us an average. Okay? So you can see that it takes five days. On the seventh, it goes back to the second. Okay? On uh, the eighth it goes back to the third and so on and so forth and we're going to do that inside of SQL Server right now so let me get back over there and so what SQL Server has now that they didn't used to have is what's called windowing functions um, and they're just amazing things that allow us to do these rolling functions in a without using a cursor um, in the past cursors would be slow and we had some things that took an hour, and when we went to windowing functions, they literally ran in like 10 seconds. And so it's just stuff that's amazing performance. And so we're going to start by um, first just listing our columns. Invoice, date, key, and, um, and our profit column. So we listed those out. So we want what we want to see is we want to see the invoice date key, but we actually want to average this profit. So I'm going to put average in there. And this is going to yell at us. So normally, when, if we want to do an average, we would group by our invoice date key. But in this case, we're going to use a new clause called the over clause. And so this is going to take us into the windowing functions. So I'm going to put over and we want to say how we want to order this thing. So in this case we want to order it by the invoice date. I don't know why my IntelliSense isn't working. 
Um, but I'm going to grab that and just paste that in there. And so we're going to order over the invoice date key. So let's see if this thing runs. And as I was typing, I forgot that we need to put the order by right there. So now we're going to average the profit over, and then we have to tell it we're going to order by the invoice date key. So let's run that. So now what we have is we have an average here. So let me go ahead and put an alias on that as average profit. Okay, so now we've got it, um, but we're missing some things here. So let's copy this over to Excel and see what we ended up with. Okay, so we're not getting the same answers. So the first one we got the same answer, but if you check out these, we don't have the same answers. Let's put some commas in so we can see what we're looking at. So we're really looking at these two columns here. So this is what we think our average profit should be for a five day rolling. This is what we got. So it's perfect for the first one. For the second one, you can see we're, we're getting off here. And what it's doing is it's actually doing a cumulative average. So if I insert a column here, wrong one, insert a column and I say, um, let's just start down here. So we say equals average, and instead of doing a, uh, a rolling average, we're going to put this column in here. I'm going to lock that column, and then we're going to do this column, and I need a colon. Okay, so now if I do this cumulative average, so what we're doing, if you look, we're getting that whole column and we're averaging across the whole cumulative stack instead of what we want is the five day rolling average. So in order to do that, let's switch back over and I'll show you how that's done. So over here we have the um, order by invoice date key. We're going to do one more clause which is actually called the rows clause. So I'm going to put rows and what we're going to say is we're going to use rows um, between and I want to go back five days and this could be wrong I might need four but we'll see proceeding and the current row so now we, we ordered by the invoice date so that's the order that it will process but then we said we want to do the average between the five rows before and the current row. So let's see what that gives us. So that ran. Let's go copy that over to Excel and make sure it worked right. And so now, let's make a little room and let's shrink this down just a little bit so we can see them all. So in here, we're still not matching up quite right. And I have a feeling that we're actually doing a six day rolling instead of the five days. So as we get to the six days, we work, um, but then we get here and we don't quite work. So let's go change that over. And let's go to the four rows proceeding. Rerun that and let's copy that one in. I'll just copy it right on top. And so now you can see that we're starting to match up with everything. So as always, if you uh, had any questions, just post it down in the um, comments section below. And uh, I'll put a couple links in there and links on my blog to some of these scripts so that you have the scripts. Um, let me know if you have any questions.